professional bread making skills have led to award winning books as well as his very own cook school in Bath. You're going to want to go to this place. It's the brilliant oh. Mr. Richard Bertinay. There's nobody that makes bread as good as this fella over Merci here. Monsieur, Welcome back. Bonjour. Ça va? Ça va? Ça va bien. Right, what are we cooking then, chef? Baking. Bread. We're baking. You we bake bread. Don't well. cook bread. All right, okay. <laughs> <laughs> Slap right. me down straight away. What are we before we make bread, we're going to make some dough. Okay? Yeah. So, um, so we're going to do some dough, and we're yeah. going to. We're well, going I'm to making the dough and get my hand dirty with this. You're going to make me some nice tapenade, proper tapenade, and we got some olive, some uh, tuna to go with some anchovies, capers. Now you put tuna in the tapenade. Yes, yeah, a very old recipe I find from Provence. It's okay. beautiful, it's really meaty, and, and beautiful with your hot bread. Sounds good. A little bit of pesto as well, some and pesto, some pesto, chickpea puree, which is fragrant with fresh lemon juice and garlic. Okay. Okay. So, so crack on with this. Right. So explain what what. Are, the purpose of making really good bread and the difficulty of it, because I think most people have got these bread makers, they throw it all in. <laughs> it's not the same as this. It's, uh, it's all in the dough. Get your dough right and your bread will follow. It's all yeah. stuck with the dough. So uh, the technique I use is, is based in the old way of making dough by hand in the old yeah. days. So it was done by hand. I explained to you the, the word as I go along. Yeah. But um, it's, um, it's simply four ingredients and the magic of it just the dough come alive, and yeah. as you see there. But you always, really, if you're learning to bread, always make it by machine, uh, by, by hand, sorry. Well, I see, if you learn yeah. to do things by hand, then you've yeah. got a feel for it. You've got um, the magic of the dough. When you, when you understand the magic, then you can use any machine you want. So, okay. it's, so uh, you said four ingredients. We've got the yeah. flour there. Any the flour, special flour? I've got some salt, fine sea salt, and the flour, strong bread flour. There's yeah. some good British one out there. So um, for the real bread in here, it's fantastic. And yeah. so... And the water, I got far longer fl uh, flour. My water goes straight into it. Now you've got salt in there. That's sea and salt, salt in there. Sea salt, of course, always sea salt, always. Yeah. And then we're going to mix all these together. And this, in the old, in the old days, we call this the frasage. It's mixing your ingredients together to a end up frasage. The frasage. So, Richard, excuse my ignorance, but why do you, okay. do you put the uh, yeast in with the flour? Why don't you put the yeast in with the water? That's um, when you were at college, just <laughs> oh, I was at college. Chef's yeah. trick, eh? <laughs> Not that it's, long ago, man. If you go to any bakery, you put your, <laughs> your yeast goes straight into your flour. You don't need to... So to it doesn't die off or anything like that? No, 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 absolutely not. It's faffing. Have you heard of faffing before? Faffing? Yeah, yes. yeah, it's doing things for nothing. Yeah. <laughs> you, should, you should wait until you see my recipe. Yeah. It's faffing. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you're going to see a lot of faffing in yeah. about 20 minutes' time. There's a whole lot of faffing on that one. So I'm mixing all this together. Yeah. And that's the first part. And after that, the next part of mixing the dough by hand was called the, the découpage, when you slap the dough on the, on the, on the side of the table or yeah. on your big wooden trough, like they used to in the old days. Now, where did you get your love of baking from? Where did that, because I always ask, did it, was it from your parents or where was it from? I think when you grow up in France or in any country, in, in UK as well, you know, when you go and buy your bread every morning, the smell of the bakery, something goes in your, in yeah. your blood. So I remember when I was a little kid, I used to go around the, by the bread and look at the door, slightly open, see all the flowery baker, I was covered in flour. And then one day I found myself behind the door, baking. I was like, what yeah. have I done? <laughs> it's too late when you're <laughs> exactly. in. There's no escape, so. So the texture of it should be that. It's very sticky. The stickier, the better. Yeah. I like it sticky. Okay. okay. Well, that's so my uh, little bit of pesto. You don't right. want it too thin, this pesto, do you, really? You want it quite... Oh, that's... I mean, you can choose the way you want it, really. Yeah. That's perfect, then, yeah. Okay. So you got that dough in here. It's like a um, sticky mess. Do not add flour or do not add oil on the table, okay? Just as it is there. There you go. And then... So we've done the frasage. Now we're going to do the découpage and passage en tête. Découpage. Oh. <laughs> you lost me. <laughs> and then the étirage. Je le taxi, là. Découpage. And then you trap some air inside it, you see? Right. So no flour? No, 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 no. no. If you had flour, you change the recipe. So, okay. so I see the secret of it is keep the, keep keep, the bread moist. That's keep the dough mean. moist yeah. and then it'll be fine. Right. So usually with this technique, you can mix 10 kilo by hand. No problem at all. And it's good for you. And you dance with the dough. And the thing with the dough, you've got to show the dough who's boss. Right. You're the boss. Show the dough who's boss. Exactly. <laughs> right. Well, the, the doughs stick everywhere. The only problem with this technique is the noise. Yeah, I was going to say. <laughs> you yeah. must have very understanding neighbours. <laughs> well, <laughs> if they knock on your door and say, what are you doing? Moving on. Moving on. For the past half your mind. hour. It's all in your mind. <laughs> anyway, I'm with the tapenade. We've got... Uh, Tuna in here, olives. I've got some anchovy in there. Um, you want a little bit of olive oil, of course. Yeah. Touch of olive oil. And then I'm going to add the capers once it's blended. So that's that one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Now, can all French bread be made 
Any all door, the same way? Any door can be mixed that way, yes. And right. The thing, because you get a lot, lot more water than the traditional method, you get much lighter crust and texture inside, so you don't get bloated all the time. Right. Now, um, this is the fresh yeast, which yep. you can get if you ask, uh, well, bakeries and supermarkets may, may sell Any you Any good that. baker should give you some fresh yeast. Uh, yeah. In France, you can buy your dough from the baker, your yeast from the baker. But what about sort of the dried yeast? You, well, stay clear of it or use less of it? In UK, we're obsessed with quick and freezing. We always, uh, all the classes we're doing, people ask me, can I, can I freeze it? Yeah. And how quick is it? And the quick yeast is a bit too quick. You know, you don't uh, use half of it over this on the pack. It's a bit too fast and makes So whatever uh, recipe says, half it when you Yeah, half it, yeah. The dry stuff, all right. Right, and you do this like that for five or six minutes. It's very hard for men to talk at the same time. Do you know what I love about <laughs> French bakeries and stuff like that? Actually, when you, when you go to a French bakery, you can have you can order your bread. You say your patroqui or troqui. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Yeah, how, how, that's how, a good if thing. you like your baguette well done, well, you buy your proper bread. You see well. the crust. You buy by the crust. You buy by by, by the look of it. You don't yeah, buy exactly. in the packet. Yeah. You know? yeah. So we don't have that over here, do we? It's a shame. We do. There's a lot of good bakers around. There's so many. It's a big revival on bread. There's, mm. uh, you know, no, because this dough will make all kinds of bread. So if you That's want your to basic. It, pizza, yeah. you can make baguette with this, you can make all sorts of things. Pizza, Fiona. <laughs> there you are. Hey. There you go. Right, right and finally we've right. got this uh, chickpea one, which is just the chickpeas, the garlic. So that's done now. I'm going to More olive oil. A bit of flour there, and just give there it a bit. Some lemon. A bit of turn in there. And that's that one done. Tapenade's finished. Here we go. So that's it, that's the... Yeah, bread. I mean, you can do it a bit longer, but I'm yeah. going to take over the other one. Baby's bottom, you see? Nice and soft. Beautiful. And this goes in there. And then... So for the fugas... So I how long would you leave that for with the cloth over it? At least a good hour, OK? Yeah. That's just been an hour and a half there, so... And where would you put that? Somewhere warm? Doesn't matter, does not it, really? Warm, but not hot. OK, not dry. So... Yeah. And then I've got some maize flour. Beautiful maize flour. Very fine polenta. You right. do little um, corn chips with it, or... It's beautiful stuff. And what I'm going to do is just turn the door over. Yeah. Use my little scraper there. I'll move this to one side. Yeah, yeah. There you go. Because this is the special bit. That that's a, that's a nice bit. Here we go. And so the texture is text is very very soft. It is soft, yeah. yeah. And that's what scare people away. I think with the making soft dough. Yeah. It just it's lovely. So don't go there and start faffing around with it and just yeah. make it all flat. <laughs> right. Keep it keep it like that. So I'm going to make a big triangle there. Look at this one. Beautiful there. Yeah. And then we're going to cut a little bit on the middle. And this comes from the fugas. You, f you find the roots of that bread. Um, it used to be called the souflam as well. In the old days, when you had a big wood-fired oven, there was yeah. no little problem aside with a little timer. It's so a testing bread. It's then. a testing bread. Right. It comes from the same root word as a focus and focaccia, the Italian bread. Yeah. Um, bread baked on the half of the oven, you see? Just when the flame were. So they there. basically pop this in the oven before they break the. Yeah, the it's most a, it's a kind of test, test uh, what it temperature is. I think yeah. it's probably uh, a little snack for the baker, you know, a bit starving, get a bit of dough, throw yeah. it in there. So, and sure enough, a little bit there, a bit of flame on the side. Now, this maize flour yeah. will give it the crust. It give you a nice crust and a nice finish. Yeah. So, you can pretend you do this in your, in your oven in the garden, you see, yeah. wood fired oven. And this, we slide it in the oven, just like that. Okay. So, so right. Yeah. I'm going to do... Now, you've got it in a pizza stone in the oven, but in yes. an oven that's very, very hot. This is very, 500 very, very degrees very, Fahrenheit. Yeah. So, while he's sorting out the bread, uh, remember, if you'd like to ask a question on the show, then call this number. That's 0816 41 41 41. Course costs 10 p a minute from BT Online. Mobiles and other networks may vary, and if you need to put your questions to us live a little later on. And don't forget, it finds Richard's recipe, along with all the other studio recipes from today's show, on our website. Go to bbc.co.uk forward slash Saturday Kitchen. There is the fugas. Listen to this. That crunch, eh? Wow. La crunch. Le crunch. Le crunch. Le crunch. <laughs> and this is an aperitif. Messi. Oh, the smell is amazing. So remind us what that is like again? Heaven. La fougasse. Oh. La fougasse. That's what it is, with a load of dips that I've made. <laughs> <laughs>
But the secret um, is that very, very hot secret. oven as well. Very hot it? oven, so you get a lot of crust. So if you eat your bread fresh, straight from the oven, you get to have a lot of crust. Yeah. The crust makes you salivating, so you digest better. Is that what the, the, the French bread is, that crust? Is that the, the heat yeah. of the oven? It's, it's a hot oven, and you've got the steam as well. But this one, you don't need steam. It's just, uh, yeah. just mm. fresh like that. We do them at the cooking school all the mm. time, and uh, it's, uh, uh, it's, it's what I call instant gratification bread. Yeah. You just make the dough, let it rest. Bacon. There you go, you've got to go to his cooking school now. <laughs> For sure. What do you reckon? As good as your pizza base? No. <laughs> <laughs> we got, right, we need some wine to go with this. We sent our wine expert Susie Barry to Northamptonshire to see what uh, she's chosen to go with Richard's 